Hey guys, today I'm going to have a video attempting to show you all of Steve's toys. Um, I say attempting because you know if you have a puppy, if you try to put all your puppy's toys in one place on the floor, um, they all automatically become his absolute favorite toy, so he's trying to steal them and he wants all of them at one time. Right now he is content chewing on his Nyla bone, but that would probably last about another minute or so because his attention span it's not too high yet, so I'll go ahead and go through these. Um, I have them kind of separated into three separate piles. Over here are ones I have bought specifically for him or if I've been given for review for him. Here are ones I already had laying around the house that I had received or I had bought a long time ago. And then this pile over here are ones that I actually took from my mom's house that are Pickles and Zoe's. Just because if you saw their video, they have so many toys that they don't even know that this many is gone. So I went ahead and took some from their house. So I'll just go ahead and start showing you all of his toys. So like I said, this pile right here are ones I have bought specifically for Steve or a few of them I actually received for review for him. So I'll just go through these real fast. As you can tell, a lot of these are like the rubber ones for him to chew on just because pickles really never chewed on that type. So all the ones I took from my mom's house were just like plush ones. And he really likes the rubber ones. So I went ahead and got him quite a few of those. This one is just a little ball by JW that has a squeaker in there. Um, he really loves playing fetch with this. Fetch is one of his favorite things to do, so he loves this. And it is a small size, so it's great for his little mouth. Um, this one's not his favorite, but it was just like 94 cents at Walmart, so I went ahead and picked it up. He has played with it a little bit, but not too much. This is the T-Bone. It's kind of like a Nyla bone that you saw in a haul that I got from TJ Maxx for only $1.99. Um, as you can see, he has been chewing on it, and it's actually changing color. It looks like blood, but it's not blood. Um, it's actually just like changing color in there. So he has chewed on that a bit, and Ellie actually tried this out for a couple minutes, but of course she didn't chew on it too long. Um, next is just little honeycomb. I don't know the brand of this, but I did get it at Walmart, and this does come in a size for large dogs too, except it doesn't have the ropes on it. But you can shove like little kibble and stuff in there, and he really likes this. Next is this big loofah dog toy that I got at PetSmart because it was on sale. Um, he doesn't play with it too much, but as you can see when he does, he really rips at it and likes it when I get him to play with it. This is a really adorable Martha Stewart whale that I got at PetSmart. He actually doesn't hardly play with this. I don't know why. He plays with almost all his toys. I think he just forgets about this, but it was on sale the day I got him. And I wanted to get some blue toys because all the toys I have are pretty girly and everything. So I wanted to get him a little boy toy. Um, this is just a puppy Nyla bone that, as you can tell, he really likes. He also has an adult Nyla bone that he's chewing on right now, and he really prefers that. Um, but I got him this one because he is still teething. He did actually just lose one of his big eye teeth the other day because he had two of them in there, and I noticed it was finally gone. So he has that. This is just a really cheap toy I got at a local store the other day. It was only $1.99, and yes, it is really girly. Um, but for that cheap, I absolutely knew he would love it. He loves playing fetch with his ropes. Plus, this has a nice thing, so when I throw it, it bounces, and he likes to chew on this big heart. Um, so he really, really loves this toy, and for $1.99, I couldn't pass it up. And then these three toys you have seen before. These are the ones I got from Pet Stages for review. Um, these are three of his favorites. This one's probably his least favorite out of them, but I think it's just because it's been lost for a while. Um, but he really, really loves this monkey. I think the monkey is probably his favorite. So now he's going to run off with one of those probably. But those are all the toys I have actually bought for him or got for review. And now we'll move on to the next pile. So this pile of toys is ones that I already had laying around my apartment. Um, they're either ones like I bought for Ellie or I got from somewhere. Um, this first one is one that I got. I think I got this in a trade actually from Amanda in our first trade. So this is from the UK. Um, Steve really, really likes playing fetch with this. Now he's stealing the other pile of toys. Um, this is one of his absolute favorites. It's just like a 94 cent rope from Walmart. Um, I actually bought this when I got Emma because I wasn't sure if a bigger dog would like to play with this, but she didn't actually know what toys were yet. Um, but this is one of his absolute favorites. He's starting to rip it up a little bit. As you can see he has to get in the video, get some attention. Um, this is a giant like lizard with four big squeakers in it that I got in a Pet Flow Swirled Rotten Box a few months back. So he really loves this, as you can tell. Maybe I can get him out of the video. This is just a giant elephant I actually got for Ellie that she sleeps with sometimes. He doesn't play with it much, but of course right now it's his favorite. 
Here's a squeaky ball. Of course, he likes to play fetch. Ellie used to play with this, but not so much anymore. So I had that for her. This is a little um, love bug that I got from PetSmart a long time ago on sale that Ellie played with a tiny bit, but he also likes it. Here's a hedgehog that Ellie will also kind of play with, but she doesn't play right now because she's still upset that Steve's here. Um, but he likes this. And then this is one of his favorites, which is just this no stuffing little dog with two squeakers in it. He loves playing tug and fetch with this. As you can see, he thinks we need to play all of his games right now. And now I'll move on to the last toys. So like I said, these are toys that I stole from my mom's house because Pickles and Zoe have so many extras. Um, what he's trying to get right now is just the adult Nyla bone I was talking about and he just bit me. Um, as you can see, this is his favorite and he has chewed on it quite a bit. So I'll give that to him, see if I can keep him distracted at all. Um, the next thing he has is just a miniature tennis ball, which he loves. Um, like I said, he loves playing fetch. You want to get see? Now he just has to play in all the toys. Here's a little stuffed rabbit. He doesn't play with too much. Um, a little gorilla, also not one of his favorites. Um, this is one of his favorites. Of course, it's getting kind of worn out now. It just has two bones on the end with squeakers, and here's the brand. I got this at a local pet store when Pickles was a baby, so it's probably about six years old. Then it has these pink rings on it, which he loves to tug. Um, here is a snake from PetSmart that was for Christmas. Here's a no stuffing buzzer, which Pickles has broke the squeakers in. She breaks about all the squeakers. Um, this bone is one of his favorites. It's just a normal little bone with a squeaker in one end. This is a really cheap one from Walmart. I think it's a pig. He plays with it quite a bit. Um, here is a little rubber fish and a rubber bird. These aren't really his favorite. He likes either the like rubber, like the chew rubber for his Nyla bones and stuff like that, or the soft ones. He's not just a fan of this like little latex rubber. And then also this bone, this was actually supposed to be in the pile. This is one I actually already had for Ellie, but he doesn't play with that too much. Here is a giant fish that's really, really cute. He does really like this one. Here is a stretchy loofah dog. As you can tell, I do have quite a few types of these. I have the stretchy one. I have the one, just the regular one with no stuffing, and then the one with little things coming out all over it. And then one of his favorites, which is a crazy looking toy, is this giant pink mouse. Um, it used to have a squeaker in it, but I think it's broke now because it was pickles. I forgot where we got these. Me and my mom found these quite a few years ago and they were on sale for like a couple dollars. And it is giant and he absolutely loves it. Um, I like playing with it too because since it is so big, it guards my hand pretty well so I don't get bit quite as much because he just goes crazy with it. Um, and he loves tugging with it and fetching so he really, really likes that toy. So there's just a look at all of Steve's toys. Um, I'm sure I missed some. I'm sure there's some laying around my apartment somewhere that I didn't find. One that I just found that I know was in the video earlier but I didn't show is this really horrible looking toy shop ball from PetSmart. I've had this laying around my house forever because I got it for Ellie a long time ago. It did used to have pink fuzz right here. Um, right when I got it, Lucy barely started ripping the pink fuzz off. And as soon as he, Steve saw it, he thought he needed to rip it apart. He didn't eat it though, so he did play with the pink fuzz for quite a while and then I took it away. And now he has started on the blue and he carries it around like this. Um, I did make sure there's like nothing on here that can come off and he can eat. So for right now, as long as I'm watching him, it is still perfectly safe. It just looks horrible. Um, but he does love that toy. But that's just an overview of most of his toys. Um, he does have quite a few, but he plays with them. And it keeps him nice and occupied so he doesn't try to chew on too much stuff that he's not supposed to. He hasn't torn up any of my stuff yet. Um, so hopefully you guys liked this video. Make sure to thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.